Daytime baseball here on MLB Network. A Memorial Day get-together for you here at the ballpark between the L.A. Dodgers and the Colorado Rockies. Striding into the box, Justin Turner. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. Ready on one and two. Very nice afternoon. High skies and 77 degrees at game time. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. That's a great pitch for a spot like that. It looks like a strike that it just comes in out of the zone. You can command that with movement. It's a very effective pitch to pitching hitters inside. So he gets him swinging on a pitcher's pitch. Justin Turner is retired to lead off the ball game. Fastball close, but he didn't get it two and one. Grounded up the first baseline, but this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Now the pitch. Mookie Betts is on deck. Pulled toward right center field. After it is Blackman. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. So that'll bring in Mookie Betts. It was an 0 for 4 day for him in yesterday's loss. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Stepping into the box, Rymel Tapia. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now the one and one pitch. Aye. One ball, two strikes. So that's two pitches in a row above the belt. As a hitter, that's what you're looking for, especially when it's a day game and the ball is carried. That just wasn't a good enough pitch to hit. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. And he misses with that one down and in. It's a full count now, three and two. You can bet these hitters are taking note of what the guy on the hill is working with. A long at bat like this in the first inning can reveal a lot. And he takes ball four. So the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ball game. Ready with the one and one. Fastball well outside. In his career against this pitcher, he's got four hits and ten at bats. Runners off for second. Offered at and missed. Here's the throw. Not in time. He's in there at second. The 2 2. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. Another 2-2 offering. Good eye to lay off the slider there, and he works it to full 3-2 and two here. You would think in this situation, maybe with a base open, he'd just pitch around him and put him on first. But not with the guy in the on-deck circle. He's going to attack this hitter. He's set. Here's the 3-2. and two. Fly ball right down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. And this pitch misses here as well. Back-to-back -back walks now, but at least that'll put the force back in order here. Tapia on second. Murphy first with no outs. And he looks at a cold strike three as the cut fastball's in there, and that's out number one. Batting four. So runners at first and second here with one away. And that'll bring up Charlie Blackman. The one two. Mm -hmm. 
now. Oh, my. This ball is crushed. Look at it go. Gone into the home bullpen for a home run. To the plate now, David Dahl. Right side, hit hard. Oh, what a dive. He gathers the throw. It's in time. So bases are empty here with two gone. And in to hit next, the power hitting shortstop, Trevor Story. The 1-1 home. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes. And that will retire the side. Cody Bellinger at the plate now. He was one for four with a two-bagger in yesterday's game. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at-bat. One might be coming right here. And he fouls this one off. Full count to Bellinger. Three balls, two strikes. Oh my, this ball is crushed. Where will this one end up? Into the bleachers and gone. Into the box now, Max Muncy. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. Here now the 2-2. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. So one away here with the bases empty. And in steps a former World Series hero, the outfielder Jock Peterson. The 2-1 home. That's a ball. Will Smith is on deck. He loses him on ball four. Next for the Dodgers, Will Smith. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. The second base. Standing in now, Zach McKinstry. And he lays off this one down and in for ball two. Man, that's one of those. How could you not swing at that one? A good take there on that pitch. Second and third here, one man out. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. With the way this guy's throwing on the mound, you cannot be chasing. You have to set your sights a little bit lower and control the strike zone. And he looks at one that misses ball four, so that'll load him up, but at least the double play is in order here with one away. Dodgers pitcher trying to deal with a one and two count at the plate. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. Everyone in the ballpark knows what the pitcher's intentions are in this situation. Great job at the plate to lay off a tough pitch in a good spot. Justin Turner waits on deck. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Blackman has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. And there will be no advance here to wasted opportunity as the bases remain loaded with two away now. Turner in front at three balls and a strike. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Heading out towards shallow right. Blackman is under it. And they will avoid the big inning as he makes the catch. So just the one run scores here in the frame. Oh, 
ready to go for the last half of the inning. Striding in for the Rockies, Garrett Hampson. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. In now for Colorado, Dom Nunez. And he's got that batting lineup near the 300 mark entering play. A little bit outside, two and one. Three and one. One thing that could nag at you as a pitcher is having to work really hard to get a guy that you think you should be able to cruise right through. He's not known for his offensive prowess, but he's putting together a real nice at bat here. This one's down to third. And there's out number two. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up next, the pitcher's spot. That'll be John Gray. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. Hey, I got to really commend this pitcher right here. Was able to regroup in between innings. Something happened in the dugout because he's on point coming out for the second. Two and two the count. Hit to first. And he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over. Here's Corey Seager, 0 for 1 here in the early going. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. And he takes ball 2, and it's 2-1. and one. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. But this will be gloved out there at second, as he didn't have far to go for the out. Now that Next up for Los Angeles, Mookie Betts. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The 1-1 one, one home. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Throw to Murphy's in time, and there are two gone now. So here's Cody Bellinger. Cody going back to that last A.B. that was the express that was an upper 90s fastball that he turned around so I think with this guy you might want to try to meanwhile now this ball's trouble as it looks like it'll be good for extra bases and he'll coast into second here with a two out double now batting the first person into the box Max Muncy Curveball taken for a strike on the inside. Hey, that's a great job by the pitcher right there. Stealing a strike with that get me over breaking ball. And now he can get a little nastier with it in the dirt. Here now the 2 2. Some pitchers fall into the trap of getting in on 3 and 2 because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. And that one is gone. On a two strike count with two away in the inning. So now to the plate, Jock Peterson. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. The one and two pitch. Early swing there as he pulls it foul to the right side. The one two. Two out, nobody on. Fouled off. To two balls and two strikes now. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouling off some tough pitches. Two two count, and he just seems to keep hanging right in there. Now the pitch. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown to right field and absolutely hammered. Forget about making a play on that ball. It's way out of here. Back to back home runs. Ah. 
in now. Will Smith can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. The pitch. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. At the plate, Rymel Tapia. He scored after reaching on a walk in his first at bat. Sent on the ground out to second. And that's out number one. So the base is empty here with one away. And up next, postseason record holder Daniel Murphy. Now the three and two pitch. Fastball, and ooh, that ran in and drilled him. And that'll bring in Nolan Arenado. 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. Yeah, in today's game, certainly don't get completely reprimanded for too many strikeouts, but no one likes to go down looking. Expect him to be a little bit more aggressive at the dish this A.B. Peterson is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. So a runner at first with two away. And into bat next, the big-time RBI man, Charlie Blackman. He's set, and the 2-1 pitch. And there's a base hit on the line. Now that left fielder, David. At the plate, David Dahl breaks his bat as this one's popped up. And he'll avoid the fragments out there to make the catch that ends the inning. Digging in, Zach McKinstry. Hit in the air to center field. Waiting on it is Tapia. One away. One gone now in the Dodger fourth, and that'll bring up the pitcher, Walker Bueller. Now the one and one pitch. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch, but if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Two and two now. Now a fastball is lifted into the air to shallow center. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. So bases are empty here with two gone. And digging in at the plate will be Justin Turner. Bases are empty here with two men out. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Two and two. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Corey Seager would be next. And this pitch is taken here for ball four. So the Dodgers able to extend the inning here with two away. The batter, number five. So we're runner at first here with two gone Corey. in the inning. And striding to the plate will be Corey Seager. Two balls and two strikes to Corey Seager. Runs coming fast and furious here. 4-3 our score as we play the fourth. And a half-hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike. And the inning is over. And that brings in the power-hitting shortstop Trevor Story. He's 0-1 for 1 thus far. The 3-1. Hit in the air down the right field line. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Now batter, number one. Into the box now, Garrett Hampson. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. in the air out to right 
And that's taken in straightaway right. Will he try from second? And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. So stepping in, Dom Nunez, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. The 2 2. Is laid off and the count runs full. Well, I think this is the kind of approach they need against such a prolific starter. You can't count on putting up a lot of runs, so getting him out of the game has to be the priority. Working at bats, full counts, running up the pitch count is a great way of doing that. So he punches him out looking at the fastball. Dom Nunez goes down for route number two in the bottom half. One and one. Here it is. A little too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. Too high that time, and it's three and one. Rymel Tapia would be next. Here's the three one. And he lays off here. It's ball four. And that is really cause for concern as he's just walked the opposing pitcher. And he misses two and one. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Liner toward right center. That gets down, and the inning will continue. And the tying run is into score from third. Stepping in now, Daniel Murphy. Swing, and he pops him up. Bet's coming on. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Carlos Estevez, a right-hander standing six foot six, will take over pitching duties here. Coming to the plate now, Mookie Betts. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Three and one to the Dodgers left fielder. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. Three and two, full count. Now the payoff pitch home. Here's a fly ball, well hit. Blackman going back. Gone to lead off the inning. to the plate now Cody Bellinger swing and a drive to right center hey that ball's going to be way out of here back to back home runs so now to the plate Max Muncy that nibbled the corner there but missed two and one Hard hit ball towards the hole. Fielded cleanly on to first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. Here's Jock Peterson now. He went deep last time up. The last at that, Matty B. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off speed pitches. Glove by Arenado. Throw on to first will get him. Score at 5-3 on the putout, though it looked more like a 6-3 ground ball. Nevertheless, there are two away now. Stepping into the box, Will Smith. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. There's ball four. Standing in, Zach McKinstry. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Zach McKinstry. 1-1. One, one. Hit down the third baseline. But this will get fouled. It's a ball and two strikes. Grounded back up the middle. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired.
Here's Nolan Arenado. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Ready on one and two. What a great battle to start this inning. What a great job by the leadoff hitter. He knows that this pitcher's starting to get up there in pitches. The manager's starting to get restless. Let's see if we can knock him out and get into that bullpen. Struck him out, so he set down on strikes for the second time today. Now this pitch sails up and in, and that leaves him muttering to himself. It's ball two. Swung on, but fouled off to the left. Four runs, four hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Rockies thus far. The bouncer to the left side. Gloved by Turner. Throw on to first will get him. Score at 5-3 on the putout, though it looked more like a 6-3 ground ball. Nevertheless, there are two away now. David Dahl to the plate now. It's been an 0-for-2 effort for him to this point. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Chris Taylor will grab a bat and lead things off here in the top of the sixth. Number three, Chris Taylor. Takes one off the inside corner for ball two. He's fallen behind now, three and one. It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. You got the leadoff hitter on deck, and you know the. Taylor swings, and a ball hit well to left. He's around first, heading for two. And that's off the left field wall. And it's a good start to the inning for the Dodgers on the leadoff double. Now that the third baseman, Justin. Standing in now, Justin Turner. A ball and two strikes. This is swung on and missed, and boy, they took care of a key man there. Now one that. away. Runner at second, one away. And up next, the former All-Star shortstop, Corey Seager. A 1-1. Count is one and two now. Six runs, eight hits. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. Pulled toward right center field. Blackman is there and he makes the catch for the out. Stepping up to the plate, Mookie Betts, runner in scoring position with two gone. Well, you don't see that every day, Matt. A home run on a fastball that is away and off the plate that he went out and hooked it. If I'm on the mound right now, I'm thinking to myself, I've got to make this guy a little bit more uncomfortable, not let him get those arms extended. I'd have to think about pitching this guy inside in this at bat. Oh, and this kicks right off of them. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. That makes it 7-4. Jake McGee takes over here with the runner at first and two gone in the inning. Into the box, Cody Bellinger. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Next up is Max Muncy. He was a ground out victim last time up. Now the 2-1 pitch. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now, now that have reached base via the base on ball. 
Peter Green. Good swing just a little early, and he'll see another payoff pitch. Ready with the payoff pitch. Hit hard back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And not in time as the run scores. A tag, and they get him at the plate as one run scores, but not the second. Ross Stripling enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Now pitching for Los Angeles. Number 68, Ross into the box now Trevor Story a little bit outside two and one the Rocky shortstop in front with a three and one count hey this is a real pesky hitter right here as a pitcher you really like to keep this guy off the bases this is a guy that kind of sets the tables for big innings something has to give here's the payoff pitch Rip down the line, but this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. And he struck him out, so he's down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. Now with the plate, Garrett Hampson, 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. This one's down to third. Reined in. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. The catcher number three, Dom Nunez. In now, Dom Nunez. And there's ball two now. Fastball, and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. That's a close pitch right there, but I think he's just nibbling a little bit too much. Oh, and he can't come up with it. The second for one. Throw to Muncie to finish the double play. That retires the side. Jairo Diaz will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Tony Walters will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Number 14. The 3 2 pitch. Is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Ready now. Zach McKinstry. Over two with a walk for him so far. Zach McKinstry. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Number 45. Matt Baby. sinking liner toward left and that is in there for a two out base knock and the two out base hit will bring in Justin Turner to bat next the bat. The first base Justin. stepping in now Justin Turner two and one hey, even though this guy's a righty hitter he's going to get pounded with that two seamer he needs to make sure he catches this thing out front if he sees that pitch again two out with the man at first And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could a swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Scott Alexander gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 75. Digging in, Tony Walters. He's newly entered into the ball game, so this will be his first trip to the plate here in inning number seven. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. And that misses ball four. It's a leadoff walk to start the home seventh. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Rymel Tapia, he's one for two in this one. The 2-1 home. 
hit in the air down the right field line. And that'll get down for a base hit. And this will find the wall deep in the corner. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. The first baseman, number nine, Daniel Murphy. At the plate now, Daniel Murphy. One and two now. From the belt, kicks and deals. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. What pitch recognition right there. 90% of the guys are going fishing after that nasty slider. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Now batter, the third baseman, Nolan Arenado. Here now the 2 2. Definitely in a tough situation facing the three hitter. You can work around him and maybe walk him to load the bases, but that just sets up the cleanup guy with the bases loaded. Peterson on the run. He can't get there as it falls in. And not in time as he just crosses the plate in time. Pedro Baez takes the call from the pen as he'll try to get the final two outs of this seventh frame. To the plate now, Charlie Blackman tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Baez was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right-hander. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3-2 count, you send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Count is full. Here's the pitch. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one and he's down on strikes for the second no out. No Two away now in the Colorado David. seventh. And in the bat next will be the outfielder David Dahl. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. Count even at 2-2. Two and two. Strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Your Brian Shaw has been summoned from now the bullpen as he'll box. do so to start the eighth. Number 29. Ryan. All set for the start of the inning. Next at the plate will be Corey Seeger. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Here's the one and one pitch. Hit out towards second. And this is going to be through into center field for a base hit as the leadoff man's aboard in the eighth. Now back, left fielder, Mookie. Betts. So now to the plate, Mookie Betts. And that misses for ball four. And it's first and second now with nobody now out. Battle. So here's the cleanup hitter, Cody Bellinger, trying to keep it going. A perfect three for three thus far. To the right side and through a base hit. Seeger is on his way home. And he's safe at the plate as they extend their lead to three. Now that the first baseman. Into the box, Max Muncy. None out, runners at first and second. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. But it bends just foul into the second deck. Read this one almost in books. The story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, d roll but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Now the 2-1 pitch. Swing, and there it goes. He got all of this one. And that's a home run into the top tank. 
James Pazos will come on in relief here and appear in game number 25 on the year so far. At the plate, Will Smith. And this is low, ball two, two and one. You know, something to keep in mind, they're really burning through that bullpen, and this is only the first game of the series. Definitely could have an impact on the rest of the series, and maybe even the whole week ahead. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Bottom of the inning now. Trevor Story steps in now. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Fouled away. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. That misses and we're even at two and two. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Now Striding in, Garrett Hansen. He's working on a one for three thus far. The one one home takes this the other way to right and a knock for him this time he's two for four for the game Josh Fuentes will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher number eight I had him off stride that time and it's one and two And he lays off the pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Yeah, and if you get a guy flailing at a pitch like that, heck, you're going to go out there and throw that same pitch until he proves he can lay off of it. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. So striding forward now, Tony Walters. He reached on a walk in his last time up and later came around to score. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. Two and two to the Colorado catcher. Two and two. And it's fouled away. A runner on first with two away. short hit hard he's got it and eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over You're Scott Oper enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth now at the plate Zach McKinstry no hits in three tries so far he struck out once The 1-1 one, one home. And a check swing here, but the bat clearly breaks the plane as he set down for the first out. A.J. Pollock will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. And he comes back with a fastball. One and two now. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Waiting on it is Tapia. He's got it, and there are two down now. Now back to the top of the Dodgers order. Digging in, Justin Turner. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. 1-1. One, one. And a good pitch, but it misses here, and that moves the count back to even on the Dodger third baseman. Two and two. 
Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. Corey Seager would be next, and he fouls this one off. Two out, nobody on. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Popped him up. Hampson has got it, and the side is retired. Joe Kelly, a six foot one inch right hander, will be the one to get the call from the bullpen here. Number 17. So the Rockies lineup turns over and to the plate. Rymel Tapia, two for three with a double on his line so far. The 1 1. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Daniel Murphy steps in now. He comes into this at bat 0 for 2 with the hit by pitch. The 3-1. There's a swing and a high pop-up. Turner shading to his right, and he makes the catch for the second out. Digging in and looking for more, Nolan Arenado. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Last strike now for Colorado. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at-bat going. Has him down to their final strike. Here it comes. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. And here's a foul tip. Held on to strike three, and that's the ball game. You know, it's always nice to get that first one under your belt when you start a four-game series on the road. Takes a little bit of the wind out of the sails of the guys at the home dugout and gives you confidence to come back and do it again tomorrow. 11 to 6, the final score in this ball game. The Los Angeles Dodgers used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it back. Walker Bueller wins his third of the season. So that's a wrap for us in this one. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, Matt Vaskersian, we all thank you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. See you next time. Here now is our final line score this afternoon. For the victorious Dodgers, 11 runs on 14 hits. No errors, they left nine runners on base. For the Rockies, six runs, eight hits. No errors, they left seven men on base.